Hi, I'm Brad Niemeyer from NVIDIA. We're live from GTC 2024, and today I'm talking with Marty Young, the Managing Director in Global Data and AI at Stalem. Thanks, Marty, for joining us. Thanks, Brad, good to be here. Um, for those that don't know much about your company, can you give us a little brief introduction about Stalem? Sure, so Stalem, we're a human-centered, modern digital consulting company, and what that means to us is we start with the people. We start with our customers, we start with our customers' customers, and we help them bring their ideas to life through technology. Um, we do that full, full life cycle um, through the people, the process, the technology. Uh, we're global, uh, over 13,000 consultants worldwide. So you've had quite the week this week at GTC. What were some of the highlights for you? Yeah, thanks. Um, it's been great this week. The energy's been amazing um, for us. Starting with customers, um, we were uh, here with Kawasaki and our teams were co-presenting around a rail safety um, vision center system we've put in with them. Uh, at our booth, we were showing um, a new avatar system, so it's, we call it Slalom Hotels, it's an avatar concierge. Um, and uh, what, I, what I love about that is uh, it's it's a multimodal way to interact. Um, it's multi-language. Um, the avatar itself can can pull in um, different things like menus, um, photos of things around the the virtual hotel. Um, all built on Tokyo Framework. Um, we partnered with Convey um, and uh, and with the Nemo as the as the engine behind that. Um, we, we also are um, showing a new integration of Nemo into Salesforce. Um, I believe we're the first uh, company to do that. Um, we've, we've been working, we're, we're a big Salesforce partner. One of the things we love to do is bring partners together. Um, so we've, we've developed um, an app in, inside Salesforce, pull in Nemo, be able to do all the things, right? The build, building your generative AI system, laying down the guardrails, and publishing within Salesforce, um, both internal and the ability to flip the switch and make that ex that agent external. Um, we also did some of the fun things, right? We uh, we sponsored a happy hour with Snowflake and Data IQ on Tuesday. Um, last night we did uh, a generative, we sponsored a generative AI uh, dinner with several of our clients. Um, I love some of the stories that came out of that. Um, and one of the great things about being at a conference like this is you get to talk to lots of clients at once and you get to talk to them um, in a setting where they have time to talk and they're, and they're you, around specific topics. Um, the story I loved from last night was one about um, a Gen AI agent um, in a call center, one of our clients. Um, and the conversation started around fear, right? The, those call center agents having having fear around AI um, taking mm -hmm. their jobs, mm -hmm. right? We, we, we all, all heard that one. Um, but what actually happened is when they put it in place, these are call center agents in um, that are taking calls that tend to not be pleasant. <laughs> no one's calling to say, hey, you're doing a great job, right? And so there's a lot of turnover. Um, but with the agents, they were able to answer questions quicker. They were able to do more for their clients because it was, it was pulling in multiple systems so they could very quickly give solid answers versus the, the on hold, on hold, on hold. Mm -hmm. And what they found already is it has increased the retention. People are happier, their, their internal employee surveys are higher. Um, Customers are happier, and that's that's real savings as well because they're not spending money on hiring new people and training new people. So just I love those kinds of stories. Absolutely, you guys have been busy. What a week! Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's true. Um, back back to the avatar experience in the booth. Um, can you talk a little bit about the real time reaction study that y'all did for that? Oh, absolutely. So we had one of our customer experience uh, people here, and they were interviewing people coming out of the experience. Um, it's an ongoing project we have. Um, anytime we're rolling out um, Gen AI um, to to gauge the reactions, to have some deeper conversations around um, what people how what people were feeling during the interaction, what they were feeling coming out of the interaction what they would change. Um, and it's just all part of 
our you know, ongoing evolution of making sure those experiences are all they can be. The technology behind it is so great, it's so powerful to be able to bring this information to people, but if you don't have the right experience, um, you, you lose all the power of that technology. Absolutely. Um, yeah, thanks for sharing about that. And then with Kawasaki, can you talk about that project on the railroads? Absolutely. So I guess first, it's important to know if you don't already, um, Kawasaki is a major manufacturer of equipment for railroads. Um, that rail cars, locomotives, both traditional and high speed. Um, you know, everyone thinks about motorcycles. Well, I was going to say, right? until I think of Kawasaki right. as a motorcycle. They, I mean, it's a huge company. Uh -huh. They do so much more. Um, but within the rail space, they've been a manufacturer for a very long time. They have very deep relationships with the railroads. And what they've started doing is evolving into a services company as well for those clients. And so one of their ideas um, was around building, uh, improving rail safety. Mm -hmm. um, in the US, there are over 130,000 miles of track. And the current system to monitor for, for issues is, is complex and it's very manual. Um, a, lot of, a lot of manual inspections or they use specific train cars that are equipped for it that they have to, they have to you know, essentially clear the, mm -hmm. the, the track from, from other business um, to run. They have to have crews to run. It's very intensive and expensive. Mm -hmm. um, so they wanted to get beyond that and so they called us in and we've, we've been partnering over the last year or so building a vision system that uses Orin at the edge um, to collect data on the track. So first in, to make the collection easier, we've developed um, a vision system that goes directly on the locomotives so it can be running with all the trains that are already mm -hmm. running. Um, we're using Orin to search for um, defects in real time at the edge and then um, moving that into, into a model where we're using Co-Opt to then go um, do the maintenance plans, um, optimize the maintenance plans so that they can much more quickly identify problems and go fix those problems, uh, making trains safer. Yeah, that's great. Um, any kind of success stories from using Co-Opt and, and Orin at the Edge that you can share? Um, and so, I guess one of the one of the main things. And this is I'm going to go back to people, right? Um, all of that power lets the rail companies um, be optimize their maintenance with the push of a button. But it's where that button goes that matters, right? Um, Jensen Jensen dropped by the uh, the partner reception a couple nights ago. And one of the things I loved um, is he was talking about NVIDIA's already done their job, right? They have, they have put this, so, so, this super powerful technology in our hands. And he was employing us as partners to, imploring us as partners to go make it useful. Mm -hmm. So the button is all NVIDIA, right? <laughs> we, we, we've, we, the technology is there, but the vision system, um, the, the optimization engine to push the button. The front end of this was a, a mobile app that the, the maintenance managers for the railroads can use to actually go do the work. And so they, they, they have their, their, optim, their, their automated optimiz, optimization schedule, but then they can, that changes for a lot of reasons out there in the mm -hmm. field, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so that can, it could be someone doesn't show up for work or it takes longer to do one of the projects or they have to prioritize something because of, of union regu regulations. And each time they do that, they can push that button again and they can re-optimize in real time um, because of the power of the technology. And, and so that makes the life of that manager who used to spend hours redoing the schedule every single time there's a change, um, that, that saves them time, mm -hmm. improves their life, mm -hmm. um, improves their work experience. Uh, I mean, and to me, that's the, that's the real power. Absolutely. And you mentioned Jensen, you know, saying, you know, what are you going to do with this amazing technology? And of course, we announced a whole bunch of new technology at this UTC. I mean, it kind of leads us into what's next for Slalom in this coming year. 
Yeah, so I, so I, one of the things that I think Slalom is really good at, we're very partner centric. Like if you go, I do a little bragging here, if you go to the website, you'll see we're, I mean, we're, we're partners with all, all the major CSPs and consistently partner of the year across the board in so many categories. Um, along with a, a lot of, of other partners um, around specific things, you think Data IQ and Snowflake and uh, Databricks. Um, and so I see us spending this year really bringing it all together. Mm -hmm. um, when you think about the power of combining things, um, like uh, being able to, I mean, let's stick with an NVIDIA, right? Um, just bringing together Omniverse for digital twin and simulation along with, with Coop to then mm -hmm. optimize mm -hmm. within that framework and, and Nemo to, to then bring that information um, you know, through agents um, to, the, to the edge um, where there's orange, right? <laughs> and and uh, I, I think more and more we're gonna get beyond the single um, technology solutions and and build across the, the build a true frameworks to to do the most exciting things. Well, we're excited too, Marty. Thanks for joining. Thanks to Slalom for being here today or this week with us. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Be sure to explore all the sessions in the GTC catalog.